all the options. Alright, look at all this crap. There's a Thresher Maw here, three anomalies there, a bunch of minerals in other places. So first we'll go down here, take care of that. Also, the creator of this shepherd did not get back to me, so I... He's still probably unaware. Frosty, hello! That feeling when you don't need to refresh. Yeah, I think they probably fixed it. Sometimes it doesn't work, you have to refresh, but I think Twitch did fix it. Cover me. Okay. How you doing, Frosty? You caught that guy unaware? Um, the creator of the shepherd? Yeah, probably. So, hopefully he will get back to me because I need to confirm his plot decisions. Plus, I mean, it'd be a shame if he doesn't get to watch his character go through the game. That's the whole point. Yes, we did, Carnage Panda. We got heavy armor. It's uh, pretty good. I can show you. Right here, 216 shields, 46 protection. Uh, heavy armor is really good on both of those, but it's lacking on tech and body protection. Of course, it's the least valuable statistic, in my opinion. Shields and protection are the most valuable because they're always being used. The protection down here only happens if you are actually fighting those enemies. The other stats are always helping you. You've always just paused and unpaused when it doesn't come back automatically. That works too. Nice. Okay, we're going to be killing a bunch of Geth here. Uh, Kaden needs to level up. Right. Lift. Electronics. Rex is already leveled. Okay. You watched this guy argue this fight between Commander Shepard and Boba Fett, and he said that Fett's flamethrower would get bonus damage against Shepard's shields. Um. Ow. Dynamic Gamer, hello! Welcome, how are you doing? Thanks for joining us. You're on mobile because you're playing Fallout 3 on Xbox. Cool, Crack, thanks for watching in any format. Ah! No! Made it. Okay. Frosty's doing alright, went out driving today, now smelling Thanksgiving food being made. It's the best. It's the best. What are you smelling? What's being made? You're great. You had to stop by and cheer Mara Jade on. Thank you, Dynamic Gamer. I had to... Well, I decided to remove the Jade part of her name because you'll notice here... Um, well, you can't see here. Um, come on. It... Uh, yeah, you can see here. Okay, it does not put the second word in. I typed it in, but it doesn't put it in, so it just takes the first word, so I changed it in the overlay to just Mara instead of both names. But she is still Mara Jade in our hearts and minds. Yeah, agreed, Flog. Uh, he was arguing that fire gets bonus damage to shielding. And stuffing hype. Screw the turkey, the stuffing is the life of the party. <laughs> What are y'all doing for it? Uh, nothing complicated for me. Not traveling, just having it here. Eating foods. Foods. Okay, this will show us where the minerals are. Uh, okay, we got that. We're gonna go north. This is where the Geth are gonna come out and attack us. It's very similar to the distress call on Metgoss we did earlier. Just a bunch of armatures, essentially. Turkey and mashed potatoes. Oof. See, my goal... Y your, your goal, Frosty, is to get everyone hungry. If you get 
A bunch of us hungry, you succeed. That's your mission. Shepard won in his opinion, but I kind of like was what to some of his points. <laughs> People who argue on the internet automatically get reduced um, favor in my eyes because they're on the internet and I assume that most people who are arguing on the internet do so from a point of ignorance although that's not always true of course there are some very intelligent people on the internet like you ladies and gents here today um, but yes Here's the geth trap. It's a trap! Ham steak, oh boy. Now you're... Now you're talking. I swear, every time I'm in Starbucks stream, people talk about food. You know, it's late. I get hungry every time I watch that stream. Ah, I can't aim up. What's going on? This is an awkward first kill we have to make here. Oh! Watch out! It's not close enough. Can just barely hit it. It's taking too long. That's better. Are you serious? Are you serious? Come on. Don't do this to me. There we go. Oof. Not much is lost if you go in assuming nobody on the internet actually knows what they're talking about. Yep. What else Scrubs talking about Thanksgiving dinner and I already had mine. <laughs> Way to be ahead of the game, DNC. The rules of the internet. They are universal. Okay. My pistol is still kind of garbage right now. There we go. Level up. I usually do level up after that kill. Okay, we just got advanced immunity. We can work towards master immunity, which has a an amazing 30 second recharge time. Or we can go for more shielding with electronics. That's always good as well. I think for this upcoming fight, we're going to need some good first aid. So I'm going to get the first rank of first aid myself to add 50 or 40 healing to that. And the, the shield boost does not get a better recharge. I think it's still 45 seconds. It just heals 80% instead of 60, which is nice. But I think the time being... I'm just going to work on my own defense. So we're going to work towards Master Immunity. And then Caden, Lift, Electronics, Rex. We've got Warp, we've got Im Immunity on him. Now Barrier. Okay. Hello Luna, how is everybody? Is everyone p piling on the Thanksgiving booze already? <laughs> Not to I. We just had to have our Thanksgiving today because half your family works in retail and stores or assholes making them work on Thanksgiving Day. I understand. I've seen that chart before, Thorg. Um, the, uh, the Mass Effect ships are certainly not the biggest ones, but it doesn't mean they're not big in general. And sometimes those charts look a little skewed anyway. 
crap. We lost a bunch of XP from that. I thought I was good. I thought I could do it safely. Oh well. Alright. Next one. What kind of build is that? Nobody knows what they're talking about. If they act like they do, they know even less. If they try to back their argument up in numbers. They don't know what the numbers mean. No exceptions. No exceptions. I like that stipulation. Might as well turn on marksman. Okay. Wow. We missed out on like 100 XP. We're killing that in the Mako. Whoops. Uh, hope they're getting some kind of bonus for or overtime pay. Some places do. Some places are now closing on Thanksgiving Day. But some stay open. And some do it to where, like, uh, each worker only does an hour or two. And they all pitch in for the day, but it still sucks. Drill Adept build. <laughs> On the Xbox One, I imagine it's largely the same. It's just a port. I mean, it might run better, but I don't think it would, because ports don't really... Ah, oh, come on. Actually, it's not not even a port. It's, uh, it's backwards compatible. That's what it is. So it's probably just the same. Opening at 6 p.m. for Black Friday, probably. Be my guess. It's always no exceptions, even if there's a rule specifically providing an exception, no exceptions. <laughs> the Executor um, and the Eclipse Star Destroyers pretty much eat every other ship for breakfast. Oh, we're too far ahead. Yeah, um... Ah, the snipers. Snipers, you must die! Where's the second one? Where are you? Mass Effect starships are surprisingly realistic in scale. Real-life navies learn very quickly that ships above a certain size are less useful than multiple smaller ships of the same total displacement. Kirk with the science bomb. Or the... Whatever you want to call it. It's not really science. I guess it is. More like engineering. Which is science in a way. Uh... Right? <laughs> they are Thorg. They are. Okay... And thankfully, turrets have pretty bad HP. Target got your sister and her boyfriend working eight hour shifts last night. Icky. They didn't. Wait. They didn't get no sleep. Gotta go back tomorrow for both 5 a.m. stuff and 6 p.m. opening. Screw that, man. Screw that. Okay, I need to angle myself this way. It's a little bit too much. There we go. It's not firing. Oh! Well. That was awful. Lost more XP. Look at you, you think you're safe. <laughs> Pretty much tumble. I think my ship's big and on Eve. Why build an efficiently sized ship when you can build a space station the size of a moon? That's no moon. It's your mother! 
from Robot Chicken. My favorite. <laughs> oh, your mama fight. Okay. Engineering bomb. Exception is aircraft carriers. Yeah, for sure. Aircraft carriers. Which, the Death Star does some of that. Furiously thinks of a scientific explanation for magic. Most people consider magic to be just stuff that science doesn't understand yet. So there's your explanation. Uh, there we go. You feel like you should quickly submit a shepherd? No problem, Tumble. Go for it. <laughs> Apparently Thorg. Let's see how close I was to leveling up. I could have leveled up. I am like... 30... 41... XP from leveling up. We could be leveled up by now. If I just killed that turret correctly. Wow. Wow. Alright, well here we go. Caden needs his armor. And I give that to him. There we go. Turians and Reapers. I wish I could live enough to traverse the galaxy in a starship. Long enough to live to traverse the galaxy in a starship. Well. I believe you can pay to go to the space station, right? As a private citizen, I think you can pay to travel there. I'm going to go ahead and blow this up now because it might hurt me later. Okay, I'm going to stick with the AR for now. Also, do I what kind of ammo do I have equipped? Yeah, this needs to be on the AR. Anti-personnel. Okay, Caden, your job is to uh, lift. Now try to get a kill real quick on a barrier, both of you, and stand in the way of any enemies for just a second. Uh, need to kill this merc. Come on! Really? You got people coming in. They have so much health. Okay, Rex, throw that Krogan by me some time. I'm gonna turn on immunity when overkill's done. He's still up. Okay. I don't have any options here. I can try to melee him, I guess. I go, go, go! Of course he can't be meleeed. Why could he be meleeed? Let's throw. Sabotage. This is not going to end well. Immunity for Rex. Come on. He's shooting me. Throw him. Throw him. Now we level. Credit where credit is due, at least the Death Star is a sphere which has the best possible surface area to volume ratio for a spacecraft. It's also large enough to have gravitational pull and a sphere minimizes issues that would result from that. I ain't got that kind of money, yeah for sure. In time for I'll Destroy, you can't pay to go to the ISS at the moment, though uh, SpaceX wants to change that. You can pay to enter low Earth orbit on the Vomit Comet. Yeah, I've heard of that too. Okay, so what do we need here? I think we need a bit more AR potential here. Uh, although we could go towards immunity. I'll get that next level. We'll improve ARs for a little bit. Caden, Master Lift. Thank you. Rex, get better barriers. Okay, we got one kill. 
We might be able to get another one. I'm not sure. Oh! Is he stuck? Like, is he for real stuck? Yay, freebie! Watch out. Watch out. Well, he's not stuck anymore, I guess. We need a warp on this guy. Rex! Rex, you're dying! Don't die, Rex. Get right here. Nice. Okay. Don't lose your shields. Don't lose your shields. You're gonna die, Rex. Come back to me, to me. Nice. <laughs> Half my life. Hey, Mad Mess. Kill one Merc, get one free. Black Friday sale. Yes. Writing the vomit comment. Yeah. Um, I think that's what the... Uh, what am I thinking of? The Mythbusters went on that to test something. I can't remember what it was. Alright, let's stock up on immunity. Actually, just barrier for now. And... Some shots on him. Losing my... Got immunity, that's okay. Don't have warp. Hmm. Nice. Nice kill. I think we're gonna be alright. That enemy will have to come back to get later. But for now... That Krogan's on the Bioware form right now, drafting a post about how ME1 is the worst game ever. <laughs> hey, Kuja. You buy a ticket to the ISS from Russia, it costs 40 million. Wow. Wow. Worth it? You must die. They don't want to come after me anymore. Where are you guys? Oh, you're all over here and you're all snipers. Time for me to leave. You should be sabotaged, though. I'm gonna put on... Uh, I don't have immunity right now. Put Rex out here. Immunity. Should have next to no health. Nice. Nice, Rex. <laughs> nice job, man. Okay, let's have Caden lift. One sniper right here. Death. One person's up here. Or no, that's the one that's outside. Okay. We'll reset the area to go kill him. You should fight the biotic terrorists or riot. <laughs> Me? Uh... Maybe way, way later. But not right now. The Moon Conspiracy Theory is that episode. Okay, yeah, I couldn't remember what myth they were testing. Take cover! Just a regular Merc. Alright. Wait, I used the wrong power. Whatever. Whatever. There we go. All good. There's usually nothing in here, but sometimes you can open that box. Many of the Odyssey Aquarius interior scenes in Apollo 13 were filmed in free in real freefall on sets constructed inside the Vomit Comet. Ron Howard wanted everything to look authentic, and Tom Hanks is a total space geek. The two of them talked to the rest of the crew, as well as uh, Gary Sinise and Kevin Bacon, into filming on board. After going up for research on what Zergy feels like, I forgot Kevin Bacon was in that movie. Man. Totally forgot he was in that. Yeah, it makes sense though, I mean... 
you definitely want something like that to be authentic if you can make it happen. It's worth the investment. There's Willem. Get some metagel that we don't need because we can all regenerate here. He's in every movie. I think parts of Interstellar were um, filmed in a simulation. I don't think they were on the Vomit Comet for any of that stuff, but I think... Um, like, um, when the actors were responding to things, they had they had them in a simulation that showed the images outside of what the characters would be seeing. They might have done a vomit comment, I don't know. I could be wrong. Paul 11, why did the Soviet Union respond with congratulations instead of the lying American bastards faked it too if we faked it? Why did we fake it six times three if we faked it? Why would we decide to have one of the fake attempts fa fail spectacularly? <laughs> that heavy armor, yeah. It's good armor. Okay, Thresher is right here. We're going to approach from this side. Right here. Alright, come at me, bro. But not too close. Not too close. I believe that's the hill where I was off center. Come on, Thresher. I don't want to leave this hill. Whatever. Be fine. Am I actually hitting it with the cannon? There we go. That missed. Stupid hill. This is really weird timing. I have to wait a second after landing. Oh! Jeez, I can't read chat right now. <laughs> oh! It's a fast fire. One more cannon, okay. Almost there. Oh crap, I'm on an ARs right now, aren't I? Should work all the same. Woot. Iron Kerbal. <laughs> In a space mood at the moment. <laughs> well, it's thematic to what we're playing, so it works out. Sasquatch used a railgun. <laughs> Everyone knows that Sasquatch killed JFK with an antimaterial rifle from behind the grassy knoll. <laughs> then he tweeted right after, Railgun hype. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs>